This is the Apex DSX dive computer. Apex is a sub-brand under the Aqualong brand. The dive computer is manufactured and developed by Pelagic, that is also a sub-brand under the Aqualong brand. Today we are going to test the GPS function. The manual states that you have to be out in the open. And as you can see, I'm just going to pan around. As you can see, we are definitely out in the open. And we have a beautiful blue sky, hardly a cloud to be seen. So this translates to perfect GPS reception conditions. Before we start, we have to do a little test to see what kind of signal that we have here. This is a mobile phone. And as you can see, we are actually getting a fix very quickly, within five seconds. The way we start the dive computer, press on the bottom. This is firmware version 1.008, the latest at time of recording. The way that you enter the GPS function or the waypoint function is through these two buttons. Press and hold. Now we're in the menu. The menu point says get current location. Yes, please. And now it is searching for GPS. The search time will automatically time out after one minute and 20 seconds. This is not my first computer. This is actually a replacement computer because the first computer, uh, the GPS function didn't work. And then they came with a firmware update that supposedly was supposed to fix the GPS function. It didn't. And then I handed it back to, back to, the, uh, to the vendor and I got a replacement computer th today. And this is the replacement uh, dive computer that I got. So now we're going to see if this computer, uh, the, the GPS function has been fixed or if the uh, failure still persists. Um, as you can see, um, we have plenty of satellites. We have 21 satellites. We have very good signal. This is an old one plus six and it has no problem seeing satellites and you know we're out in the open this one is still searching and that doesn't bode well uh, my old computer also searched and searched and searched and every time it came up with a gps position not found ah, and there we go gps position not found and I must say, this is basically as close as I have come to GPS working uh, on my previous Apex computer and this replacement computer as well, unfortunately. I think we will go ahead and uh, see if, if um, we can uh, replicate this experiment at another location. Uh, in case someone said, yeah, but we are, we don't have good enough GPS re reception where we are. And maybe this is a one-off. So you know what? We can just do it one more time. Yes, please. Um, it's not going to be a very entertaining video because it takes one minute and 20 seconds every time it has to time out and fail. Uh, if this is anywhere close to my first Apex, then I can make a video right now 
where it is failing and failing and failing and failing after each other. So if you if you have seen what you need to see already by now, you can just go ahead and quit the video. If you want to see it at the end and see this is true, this is basically failing four times in a row, and then I don't want to bother any longer, then you can continue watching. I am not going to edit this video. Uh, I, I want it to be an unedited video, so uh, I can't be... Uh, accused of manipulating the video. Um, the build quality from Pelagio is actually good. Um, this is not Pelagio's first rodeo building uh, dive uh, equipment. Uh, transmitters and, and dive computers they have done that for a long time and, and it shows oh there we go it failed again predictably unfortunately ok get waypoint collection it is a solidly built unit um, it feels sturdy um, the buttons, uh, the touch uh, sensation. It's it's a nice computer to uh, to hold. It's a nice computer to touch. It's a nice computer to uh, to press the buttons. Um, so in that respect, um, the, the, it's a fine it's a fine product. Uh, I, as as I said, this is my replacement dive computer which means that I have had a long time to basically uh, growing increasingly frustrated with my first dive computer and really pounding the manual to see if I did anything wrong um, and go through the app to see if I forgot a setting or, or anything. Um, and I must say, um, just as just as good uh, Pelagic is as a hardware manufacturer, well, it this device is marketed as a technical dive computer. I am not convinced that this is a technical dive computer. It looks technical. It appears technical, but it is not technical. If you compare it to, ah, there we have it, have it again. This is the third fail. If you compare this to a shear water, which is basically uh, the, the 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 dive computer to beat, well, let's be honest. Uh, this is a very nice recreational dive computer that has a lot of things going on on the screen that makes it look like it's a technical computer. But if you really go over this, it, it is not. Um, you do not have gradient factor 99, for example. And you do not have surface gradient factor as you do on the, on the Shearwater uh, dive computers. This gradient factor uh, graphical display thingy over here can be exchanged to something a, a more smooth bar graph that shows nitrogen load and if you go through the manual I, I just set it off one more time this is the fourth and last time if you go through the manual um, and then you try to read what does this gradient factor bar actually mean and then it says, well, it is a relative display. A core, it's a relative uh, between your gradient factor low setting and gradient factor high setting. And, and then it says, yeah, but... And, and, and it doesn't specify why that is useful for you. So it is useful for a, an unsecure recreational diver that 
that gets confused with seeing a lot of numbers uh, on his uh, dive computer or her dive computer. And then it's nice to have a bar graph, uh, but it doesn't give you an exact value. Um, you are just say uh, one bar, one bar is basically 5%. That's what it states. And the, uh, the nitrogen load, uh, that is just one smooth graph that changes colors in the background. Uh, so you don't know exactly what you end up with if you surface. This is no, this is not a graphical representation of surface grade gradient factor as we know it from shear water. Unfortunately, not. Um, it is a very new product. Another thing that I have encountered uh, is that uh, the different uh, values that you can change has one name on the app on your mobile phone it has another name in the manual that you can download and if you go in, ah there we go failed again for the fourth time and if you go into the settings menu on the dive computer then it has a third name and this this shows me that development software development and documentation development has been has been rushed or not sufficiently care has been shown uh, before this product came to market so and it, it shows that it is a new computer the first 10 minutes it's really a nice computer it has a lot of uh, I have a lot of n nice things to, to say about it as a recreational computer, as a technical advanced dive computer. This does not beat Shearwater. Shearwater's manual is uh, better, more comprehensive and easier to understand. The consistency of the menus is better. The consistency between the, the app and the dive computer is its just better integrated, unfortunately. And, um, well, the, let, okay, let me say something positive. The build quality is nice. Wireless charging works. And it also works with another wireless uh, pad other than the... Uh, the key charging pad that uh, was delivered in, in the package. The, uh, then you have, uh, you have a port sideways here where you can put in an oxygen sensor. So you can measure nitrogen. No, no sorry. You can measure uh, nitrox uh, content in your, in your cylinder. But hey, it's just a wire and a, and a plastic placeholder. Because the, act, uh, the actual expensive part, that means the oxygen sensor, that is not included. So uh, that was a cheap gimmick to say this can measure oxygen. No, it can't, because it's not included in the package. You have to buy it separately. Um, and then again, GPS. Well, it is not a GPS per se. I have read on the internet what we, what it does it only works on the surface and it gives you a gps coordinate that you can save in the memory and then you also have a waypoint finder that's another function and then you can say navigate me to this uh, waypoint and then basically you have a surface compass that gives you a, a, a distance me uh, measurement to your waypoint so it is not a GPS per se. It is actually, because it's not working, it's not a GPS at all. 